Hey guys, it's Miss Matthews. Sorry, I got really close to the camera. But hey guys, it's Miss Matthews. I'm coming at you live from my house. And I will be teaching fourth grade um, social studies just to help Mr. Titus out with his uh, teaching because he has to teach science too. So I'm going to be teaching social studies. And I hope y'all have fun, as much fun as I had planning this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so just to make this as normal as possible, we're going to do an I can statement just like we do at school. You know how we do the repeat after me. So we're going to do an I can statement and repeat after me. Ready? So I can locate and identify seven continents and the five major oceans. Very good. So I'm going to be talking about what an actual um, continent is because what is a continent? I'm going to talk about what oceans are. I'm going to talk about the seven main continents and which ones we live on. Um, and then the one, the five major oceans that surround our continents. All right. Does that sound good to everybody? Great. Um, it's weird because I'm talking to a video instead of talking to y'all, but uh, I hope y'all are working with me and working with all of us on the fourth grade team as best as possible during this situation. So miss you again. I miss you. I forgot to say this at the beginning, but I miss you all. But um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, before we even get into any of the continent stuff and the ocean stuff, like what the heck is she talking about? Let's talk about, um, or let's watch a video first. So I have this really cool video that I found and it's about um, the continents and the oceans. And I think it's really cool. So let me try to show it, share screen. There we go. I hope y'all can all see this. So we have my video over here. I'm going to put it to a large screen. No, not this video. Oh, this happened last time, but we're going to keep rolling because it's this video that I made. Continents in the world. Okay, so we're gonna go through the continents first, and then we're gonna go 
this person. Okay, so I have my map right here on the right side of the screen. Um, so we have North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia, and our area code for Arizona. Okay, so I have my websites up here, so y'all can, I'll put the links to these websites up here in the comments or wherever you want to look it up, but I'll put them up so y'all can actually go and look for yourself to and research because I really like these websites and I really like the people who started them. But I have uh, my continent facts right to the left. So first it says, what is a continent? So a continent is just a big land mass that people live on. So we have big land masses. So you can see the different colors. Those are the, our land masses. Those are continents. So we have seven of them. <clears throat> There's Africa right here is purple. Purple right here. Then we have uh, Antarctica, which is gray at the bottom. Then we have Australia over here. We have Asia, it's pretty big. We have Europe right here. We have North America, this pink one right here. And then we have South America, right? All right, so um, fun fact about some of the continents, some of them are pushed together. So like they're named together sometimes. So like North America and South America are usually called the Americas. Uh, sometimes Europe and Asia are pushed together and they're called Eurasia. Um, also there, uh, one of the continents, Australia down here by itself, the red, uh, this reddish one, he, uh, or it's the continent uh, is completely surrounded by water. So it's also called a country and a continent, but we'll get into that, but it's completely sur surrounded by water. So this is, a, um, it's kind of like an island, but it's a continent. So it's one of the big, uh, one of the big land masses, right? <clears throat> but it's completely surrounded by water. Um, so first let's talk about Africa. So Africa is this purple one right here you know, from Wakanda, Wakanda forever, you know. Uh, so we, it has 54, uh, 54 countries. Uh, that's where Black Panther lives, of course. Um, you might have heard of it uh, having a really tall mountain called Kilimanjaro. It's a really big mountain. It's one of the highest mountains in Africa. And also they have a lot of diamond mining down there. So you get a lot of the diamonds that we have now, like my ring, uh, your mom's ring, your mom's jewelry, uh, your ice on your watch, uh, is, came, uh, came from Africa. They have a lot of diamond mine, mining down there. Um, all right. Also, the Nile River is in Africa, the famous Nile River, you know how we talk about um, in Egypt and the really long, the longest river in the world uh, is located in Africa. And it goes all the way through Africa. All right. So next we have Antarctica. It's really hard to see Antarctica, but it's way down here at the bottom. This gray part right here, it's not really populated. Not a lot of people live in Antarctica. Uh, it's just a big sheet of ice, <clears throat> so not a lot of people live down there. Usually more animals live down, like, like the polar bear and the uh, penguin live down there, so not a lot of humans, but people usually, people sometimes go down there to do research and check up on the wildlife and see what's going down in here, why isn't anything growing, you know, but it is just a big sheet of ice, kind of, so not a lot of people live down there. Um, but at any time, if you want to pause and like read over the information, I'm just giving an overview of this. But uh, if you want to pause it at any time, you're totally welcome to. It won't hurt my feelings because I won't ever know. <laughs> but uh, if you want to pause it any time, you can definitely do that. Um, so our next continent is Asia. So it's this big, really big, 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 uh, really huge yellow uh, continent right here. Uh, it's the largest continent in the world, so it's pretty big. Um, it has 48 countries, uh, and 4 billion people live in Asia, so that's a lot of people. So most of the world's population lives in Asia, and the tallest mountain, uh, lar world's largest, largest mountain lives in, uh, not lives, is in um, 
Asia. It's called Mount Everest. You know, have you heard of, you've probably heard of Mount Everest. It's a really big, tall mountain. You know, you need the gas mask to get to the top. It's really cool. Um, so here are some of the countries in Asia. There's Russia, this big, uh, it also goes through Europe, but um, Russia is right here. Then we have China down here. We have India. India is really important to remember because India kind of has its own ocean, but we'll get to that later. So there's India, then we have uh, the Philippines are down here, then we have Japan. I've lived in Japan for six years. I know, crazy. Um, lived in Japan for six years. Japan's right there, but uh, it's pretty big, as you can see. It's one of the biggest. Um, and it's this yellow one right here. Again, pause me at any time you need to. Um, and then we have Australia. So like I said, Australia uh, is completely surrounded by water. It also has two names. So we have Australia and Oceania. So we have, uh, it's right here down at the bottom. It's kind of connected to um, all these little islands in, uh, in Asia, but it's completely surrounded by water. Um, there's over 300 languages in, uh, in Australia, which is really crazy. But also another thing, Australia also counts as its own country. So the difference between a continent and a country, a country is inside of a continent. So like you can see all these little squiggly lines. So like this is China right here. China is a country inside of the continent. Um, what else? So uh, Japan is a country inside of Asia. So it's, it's a smaller portion of land that's inside of a continent. So Australia is a continent and a country, which is kind of not normal, but uh, uh, so it's both. Um, other than that, that's, uh, you probably know some animals from there. So like the kangaroo, the um, koala bears from there. Uh, if you have any other examples that you know, you know, you can shout them out at this time. But uh, the wombat, the dingo, all those animals are from Australia. You know, the good day, mate. That's from Australia too. And I've also been to Australia. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of continents. So I've been to Australia, I've been to Asia, of course. Um, so our next one, been to North America, been to South or around South America, and I've been to Europe. But our next one is Europe. So Europe is the second smallest continent. So it's this green one right here. Fun fact about me, I'm from Europe. So I'm from Italy right here. This little boot shaped country is Italy. Uh, we got Spain right here. So this is a country. This is a country. And like I said earlier, uh, Russia kind of goes into Europe. You see this big portion right here? That's your, uh, Russia. <laughs> That is Russia right here, and it goes all the way through Asia. Uh, there's 46 countries in um, Europe, which is not as many as Africa, which has 54. But it's pretty, it's, it's a lot, 46 is a lot. Um, and like I said earlier, sometimes they push Europe and Asia together and they call it Eurasia just to make it easier because you see how they're kind of connected or they are connected right here there's this line so they're pushed together so it's usually sometimes it's called eurasia so your and then asia so then we have north america so north america is where we live so remember how i was talking about a country versus a continent so we live in the country of the united states of america so we have this country right here. This is where we live. We live in this country, but we live in North America, the continent, okay? So there's, um, there's not also, there's 23 countries in North America. So we have Canada right on top right here. That's the largest country, largest country in North America. Then we have um, Denmark's up here. <clears throat> it's pretty big, but we live in, United States of America, which is a country, not a continent. So a continent is this big landmass. And remember, a country is inside of the continent. So we live in United States of America. Is that, it should look familiar. So we have it right here. And then uh, 
we live like right about here. So that's Memphis right there. Then we have Mexico's down here. That's another country. So it's inside of the continent. Um, also, Alaska is a part of United States of America. Uh, it's, it's a part of the United States of America, but it's like all the way up here. So it's a state. We'll get into states and all that later. But um, this is a part of the United States, even though it's all the way up here. Um, all right, so our last continent is South America. So we have South America down here. It's connected to North America, but you can't, you can't just walk across. That's kind of crazy, but you can't. Um, so South America is down here. It has one of the largest uh, rainforests and the second largest river, the Amazon. So the Amazon rainforest and the Amazon river go hand in hand. They both live in um, South America. And the largest country, remember, country is inside of a um, continent. So our continents are, this is our continent, and our country is inside of um, our, our country is inside of our continent. So our biggest country in South America is Brazil. Um, I haven't been to Brazil. I would like to go to Brazil. It sounds nice there. But, um, it's the fourth largest continent and it only has 12 countries. So think about that. So, you know, North America has like 23, Africa has 54. Uh, everybody else has uh, a lot of countries except for South America. So South America, you can remember, only has 12 countries. So it only has a uh, little portion. So this is Chile, um, Brazil. Uh, there's a lot of other countries in here, but there's only 12 of them. So this is, these are all of our continents. Not bad, right? Seven of them. So you can remember, uh, I used to sing this song, uh, uh, Europe, so it would go, Europe, Asia, Africa, North and South America, Australia, Antarctica. So it's only seven of them. So it should be pretty easy to remember. And they're all shaped really differently. So you can, you can tell the difference between uh, each of them. So uh so been to your um but about me i've been to europe i've been to asia i've been to australia i've been to north america of course i live in north america i've been to canada canada is a country in north america um where else have i been i think that's it i, ha I haven't been to africa yet i want to go that's the next place i want to go in south america I, you know, I can't live in Antarctica, remember, because it's a sheet of ice. But uh, that's enough about me. So, um, again, I'll put the link to this website. I think it's really cool. It has more information about the continents and stuff, but I'll put, I'll put it up for you. Um, so then we have, uh, so we did the seven major continents. So we didn't finish our I can't, uh, I can't statement yet. So we have five major oceans. So let's talk about the five major oceans. So we have the five major oceans. I'll also put this website in there because I thought it was really cool. So first we have our Pacific Island. So our, or not island, our Pacific Ocean, my bad. Um, so we have our Pacific Ocean. It's really big, um, but it's in between Asia and North America and South America. So you can see that it's really big. So it goes, it's from here all the way to here knowing that the world is round and it's connected on the other side. In, in this picture, it's a uh, rectangle. But um, it's, this is the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty big. It's one of the biggest ones. Um, then we have the Atlantic Ocean and it's this little sliver of ocean right here, if you can see it, or you can see it over here. Um, it's in between South America, North America, and Europe and Africa. So it's this little sliver right here. So we have the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. Um, what an ocean is first, I should have said this first, but what an ocean is, is um, it's just a big body of water. So as you can see, like the Atlantic Ocean is just a really big body of water. Um, and so is the Pacific Ocean. They're just really big bodies of water. So then we have our Indian Ocean. 
We have our Indian Ocean is right here, right under, remember what I said, India was pretty important. It's important now. So India is right here. It's this yellow um, country in the continent of Asia. So then we have the Indian Ocean right here. And remember, we live all the way over here. So we're, we're really close to the Pacific Ocean and the um, Atlantic Ocean. But the Indian Ocean is all the way over here by India. And then we have two more oceans. We have the Arctic Ocean. So the Arctic Ocean is not down here. The Arctic Ocean is up here near the North Pole. Um, so, you know, you know, remember we were talking about uh, North and South and East and West. So uh, the North Pole is up. So that's where our Arctic Ocean is. So it's really also really cold. So both poles, so North Pole and South Pole are super cold because, you know, Antarctica is super cold and up here is super cold as well. But um, the Antarctic um, Ocean is also just covered in ice the majority of the year. So it's up here in the north. And then we have our Southern Ocean, which is down here, the south part of the world. So it's... Um, southern so it's right right above antarctica it's also very cold there too um that's pretty much all i have uh, about so we have the seven continents so let's review it one more time we have north america south america africa europe asia and uh antarctica and australia seven continents and then we have the five oceans which the uh pacific ocean the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, uh, the Southern Ocean, and then the Arctic Ocean is way up here. Um, so before I leave you, I have a few games uh, that y'all can log on to. Again, I'll put them in the, either I'll put them in the comments or I'll put them uh, as a link you can click on to. So you can go ahead and play those games. Uh, the games are uh, for you to like match and uh, match them. So one of the games tells you, uh, it, it'll say at the top, it'll say Asia, and you have to put, uh, you have to click on Asia. So it'll say Asia at the top, and you'll have to say, this is Asia. Or um, it'll say the Atlantic Ocean, and you'll have to click on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, they're really fun. There's three of them. Um, there's different there's different difficulties on one of the games. So you can pick when you're, when you feel expert, you're an expert. Um, so my, uh, if you're an expert, you can pick a higher one. Uh, but that's all I have. Again, I'll put the games in the comments for y'all to look at. Um, like, and subscribe. No, just kidding. Uh, but I miss you all very much. I hope uh, y'all watch this because Social studies is important just as much as math, science, and reading in English. But uh, I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, I hope you learned something too. Uh, so bye. I love y'all all, and I miss you all so very much. Uh, and have a great day. Bye.